Um, I'm a GCSE history student here and we studied medicine through time and Nazi Germany. So we're just going to reenact an early 19th century amputation for you guys. Okay, so surgery in the early 19th century wasn't like it is today. The operating theatres were basic and very unhygienic. No one knew about germs and none of the instruments were ever cleaned. There was no way of stopping bleeding and pain relief was non-existent. As a result, patients often died of shock, blood loss or infection. You will now meet Hannah Dyson. She's an 11-year-old girl who's been working in factories since she was six years old. Earlier today, she had a terrible accident and her leg got caught in a machine. <gasps> a factory worker's bringing her in to try and save her life, but she's lost a lot of blood. If anyone doesn't like the sight of blood or is a bit sensitive, I recommend you leave now. <gasps> quickly, quickly, we're losing her. Come on, quickly, where's the surgeon? I'm here. We're going to have to cut it off immediately or first we're going to lose her. Take her down. Still. Give us a brandy. That should help with the pain. My brandy? It hurt a lot. <coughs> Give me some. <coughs> okay, she's out. I've forgotten how to do it. <gasps> We're training. I didn't have any training. Speedman. I did it under three minutes last time. Okay, I'm going in. Are you ready? operation but she died the next day of blood loss. Her story is typical of anyone who faced surgery in the 19th century. Fortunately for us, great individuals like Joseph Lister and James Simpson have helped improve surgery enormously. By the end of the 19th century, surgery was now painless and infection free. Doctors still couldn't stop blood loss but this problem was solved after the First World War. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Reach high. For stars like it in your soul. Dream deep. For every dream precedes the goal. Paul Neville Stark quoted these words, words which I believe reflect our school. Every student at this school is a star. Encouraged to have a dream. From our peers to our teachers, every aspect of this school aids us to reach our hopes and dreams. What we aspire to do, Harris Academy Bromley helps to achieve. The friendly environment makes us as students feel part of a community, as a family, there, every step of the way on the path to success. Success, it's very much encouraged here, and being in year 11 as I am, success is what I work for. The supportive staff here have made my school life a pleasant and enjoyable time for me. The friendly faces of the staff and the keenness of those willing to help, from after school clubs to extra revision classes. This has made my journey in the school a time for me to be able to reflect on in the future, to see how great my school life at Harris Academy Bromley was. Being in Year 11 and studying for my GCSEs is a demanding process, which requires you to put in hard work and extra revision. But with the support I receive from my teachers, it's very hard for me to complain about having to do it alone. My teachers have proved to be more than willing to help with any problems or difficulties I have had with my studies. To me, they have been like friends, in which they are there to help me through any tough times GCSEs are accustomed to bringing. I can only truly praise the high level of teaching I witnessed within my school, so with this, I am proud to be a part of Harris Academy Bromley. As I mentioned, I am currently in year 11. However, this is only my second year at the school. I previously attended a girls' school in Essex, in which it was a very good school. However, it lacked one thing that, in contrast, this school is bursting with. Sense of community. Here, I feel I belong. With my peers, I feel and have been treated as if I have been at this school since the beginning. The kindness my peers treat me with and the open mindsets they kept on my first day here astonished me. I would get random greetings from teachers and students, which in a sense made me feel less nervous about my first day here. Truthfully, I did expect, I did expect the complete opposite of the warm welcome I received on my first day, as the previous reputation of the school's K-12 did get me quite worried. But, as they say, never judge a book by its cover, so from this experience I have learned to read the pages first and discover the true meaning. And whilst I'm mentioning covers, the school has, ha has actually had a rather drastic refurbishment. As some of you may have noticed on your way in, there are new carpets, a new reception, new brightly coloured walls, and well, the list goes on, but I'm sure you all want to get out of here tonight. <laughs> the new refurbishment has brought light back into the building and a more comfortable environment for us all to help aid our learning. Even after many improvements to the building over a six-week deadline, the school is yet to be refurbished further. 
I'm not sure what the new ideas are, however, I am quite excited to see the new changes when they do arrive. I would like to finish by telling all of the year six girls in the room that this school can give you the first step onto the pathway of success. No matter your ability or your passions and dreams, this school can be your guide. Whether it's from the teachers, your peers, or your prefects and senior leadership team, this school could be the place for you. And as our school motto says, inquire, endeavour and excel. And adding my own little twist to the end, enrol. Thank you. You said you thought it was going to sound... You said you thought it was going to explode. Let's see if she's right. on people's hands. I am Mo Williams and I am proud to say that I am head girl of this school. I first entered the gates in 2006 and back then we were still Cater Park. Last year, September, we turned into a Harris Academy and in this year we have seen significant changes. The most biggest change that I have seen has been the positive energy that the school, has now, the school now has. I feel that the children now have a new positive approach to learning and I feel that I've adopted that myself. The school has offered me so much in the past year and I feel that the school can offer your daughter the same opportunities. Along with the head students, the, the senior leadership and my deputies, we will bring about changes that will benefit your daughter when she enters this school, such as the power scheme that I am eager to get started. It's an anti-bullying scheme that your daughter will be able to access if she feels troubled or worried. And that will be able, that will be provided by us as post-16. We will be the friendly faces that your daughter will see day to day during school. And we are so happy to be able to build a relationship with the younger years because that is what school is about. It's about community, not just a few people, not just seeing the sick formers and saying, oh, who are they? We want to get to know the younger years and that is what we do. We get to know the whole school. Your daughter will be able to access this whenever she likes. And I feel that this school is able to offer your daughter pointers on knowledge, wisdom and maturity and she will grow in confidence as she goes through the school like I have done. Thank you for listening. Okay, so Karma, here we do year okay. 7 and 8. Um, um, 15 minutes. Your, your pet has just died. Okay. 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 You passed your test. Failed your test. Okay. You're angry because someone ate your chocolate. You're confused. <laughs>
I think it's great that Harris Academy from it starts off with the basics, like the things you learn in primary school, step by step. Then you are given a target level that all of your teachers know. The academy encourages you, encourages you to achieve your target. Or even better to exceed your target. Remember to become a part of our head family and to acquire, endeavour and excel. Thank you very much for listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> the first people that